What up? This whole time that my Boosted Mini X has been out of commission, it's been forcing me to ride this more. I've been really enjoying it. It's making me a better skater. I've been kick pushing everywhere. My ollies are getting better. And I'm liking it. So I'm going to stick with that for a little while because I don't really mind not having the Mini X. So my Boosted Mini X XR battery replacement just arrived. Actually, it didn't just arrive. I was skating when it got here. I was kind of busy, so I haven't been able to deal with it. But now, I want to unbox it real quick. Let's open this up. So yeah, while doing a little bit of uh, research on what to do when I replace my new XR battery on my Google Mini, I noticed another rider had an issue with how tight the battery would uh, s screw on to the board. I guess there's like a little bit of a space or a gap between the XR battery and the board. A little bit of spacing there. Hopefully it doesn't happen with my battery, but we'll see. So here's my first Boosted Mini X. Affectionately known as Scar. Cause there's a gash right here. That's a sort of flashing yellow green light. That's not the pulsing red light of death. Definitely not the pulsing red light of death. It's not blinking three times red. It's got a yellow in there. Remember when I got that. Or I remember when that happened. One thing I learned that could be helpful for others is that when you want to remove the battery, you can't just pull it straight out. You've got to twist it under the part that's holding it down to lift it up to get access to the bottom.
basically I have some rubber sh shrink wrap that I can heat up and it's gonna basically create a nice little airtight cover over the connection. That way, any moisture gets in there, it's definitely not getting to my wires. future if I ever need to replace the battery I can just slice it off so I noticed why that other rider on reddit was having a problem with the spacing between the battery and the board so I think I have to agree with my other rider on reddit there's pretty there's a pretty big gap in between there I think maybe because I gotta slide this uh, basically you have to make sure that the wire that's connecting your battery to the board is pushed up as high as it can go and fits snugly into the groove so the wire is not protruding out very much from the battery thus giving you very little gap just make sure your wire is pushed all the way up and fits snugly into the groove for the space you get on the battery I don't think I get much more of a gap than I originally had. It's just about placing the wire properly into the groove so that there's really no room for it to create the gap. Uh, I think right now I'm gonna screw these screws back in with the plates and I think I'm gonna be done with this for now because I got other things I wanna do, like skate with this board. So. So, is the red light of death myth busted? Well, it is for my board at least. My board was not suffering from the red light of death. The red light of death is indicated by like three flashing red lights. That's not what I was having. That's not the problem I was having. I'm sweating like crazy. My new XR battery replacement is connected and screwed on tightly. There doesn't seem to be much of a gap after you tighten it with the screws when you line up the wires snugly in the gap that it's uh, that's made for it in the battery. So shouldn't have a problem there. That's a fix for you. If your battery's not fitting snugly, there's a little gap, make sure the wire is fit snugly in the groove. I guess since I don't have a choice, I wanna plug it in and charge it while it's gonna be sitting here. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna just plug it in and let it charge. Should I try turning it on? I want to. Let's just see what happens. So I get the green light and I get the flashing blue light. Maybe I should turn on my remote. 
and see if it connects. Charging on green, charging on green. If anyone has any other advice that could be helpful, please comment below and let me know.